hello everybody welcome back to my channel uh, today i'm going to show you how best you can keep or you can have a very clean cabbage or very clean leafy greens i have some ingredients here with me i'm going to use some vinegar so i'll need just a tablespoon of vinegar you know this you can use white vinegar or this distilled vinegar they all work you know the same i also have um you know i'll use a bowl of cold water i have a co a bowl of cold water the cold water here with me so i'll just put a tablespoon of cold water i mean a tablespoon of vinegar into the cold water this is just a way to to make the cabbage or the leafy greens very clean free from bacteria and contaminants so when i i finish you know soaking for about five minutes then i will if the cabbage is a lot i can cut it up chop it up and then pack into these you know freezer bags for future use so already i have washed the cabbage this is the cabbage I've washed the cabbage already. Uh, you know, cabbage is really nutritious, very rich in vitamin in vitamin C and fiber and other you know nutrients. So it's very good for the digestive system, you know, uh, because of the fiber. So I've washed the cabbage leaf by leaf. As you can see, I washed the cabbage leaf by leaf because you know like especially during the slug season snail season you need to make sure the cabbage is really you know free from those pests and sometimes aphids do build in you know underneath you know or between the leaves so it's really essential to unplug the leaves like this you know, each leaf, wash it under cold water like I have done. So I washed all the leaves, look at that, under cold running water. So the next thing I have to do now is to just add, just add some vinegar to a bowl of, of cold water. So this is my bowl of cold water. I am going to add some vinegar so i will need uh, for example in this water i'm just going to put you know a tablespoon of vinegar so i've just put a tablespoon of vinegar it depends with the quantity so for this quantity i have i'll just see you know pour a tablespoon if you feel it's a bit little it's you always you know you can add I, th I feel it's a bit little, so I'll add two tablespoons of white vinegar or distilled vinegar. Then, I've already washed the cabbage, as I've said, so I need to soak. I'll soak the cabbage into the water with vinegar. So I'm soaking the cabbage there into the bowl of water. Uh, the main aim is to make sure the cabbage is free from bacteria and contaminants. You know, because vinegar will kill the aphids as well. So just soak the cabbage into the solution of vinegar and, you know, soak it there. So it needs about five minutes of soaking. So make sure every leaf is dipped into the solution, into the vinegar solution. Just dip the uh, the cabbage into the solution of vinegar. Yeah, because you know, 
we always want to to consume food which is safe food which is clean food which is free from pests uh, like you know the slugs the tiny snails the aphids the caterpillars you know butterfly caterpillars and so on so after washing this ensures that your cabbage or leafy greens are really clean if you have it if you happen to have a lot of of you know of vegetables which you have washed and you cannot consume them you know at one go you can always you know uh, save some for the next meal so what i usually do is that after soaking like this for about five minutes i will you know sort of uh, make sure i dry them so i usually use a very i have a clean dish towels like this one a very clean dish towel like this one so this one will help me after the five minutes if it passed the clean cloth will help me to dump the moisture from the leafy greens because when i am chopping them i don't want water to spill all over and when i want to save them in the fridge or in the freezer uh, i want them to be uh, to have minimum moisture on them so that next time i am cooking them they are crispy and fresh so just after five minutes you know you then take your leafy greens you know take your leafy greens place them on a board and just dip them you know dip them with a with a, a cloth like i'm doing just dip them and make sure you know they are clean they are free from lots of water yeah so after five minutes place them in a drainer like this place them there after five minutes and we just want to exclude the loads of this water so we exclude loads of this water and, you know use this drainer and do away with the water so our bowl is ready there so just to shake them shake them make sure the water the water goes you try to eliminate as much water as you can then the dubbing will then begin so you just dab the leaf dab the leaves and put them away waiting for the chopping so dab the leaves with a piece of cloth a very clean cloth dab the the leaves make sure you are having your leaf greens without too much water so that you know you can uh, chop them see free of water chop them and then they'll be free you know from lots of water chop them afterwards so dabbing just dab them with a piece of cloth to remove extra moisture dab them with a piece of cloth i like these uh, vegetables you know they are really delicious and full of fiber like i've said already so it's worth doing what i'm doing now so that you enjoy your greens you eat them with joy and happiness because they are free of pesticides they are free of pests and pesticides and they are free of you know other contaminants you know like when you use manure when you're growing so you want your your leafy greens to be extra clean so finally you can then bring them to the board you know bring them to the board just make sure the board is dry as well 
Let's swipe with the kitchen drawer. Then you can do the chopping. Chop your greens to your favorable size. You know, chop your greens to a favorable size. Because I'm not going to use all of them. So what I'll do is, uh, when I chop them, I know how much I need to use in my meal. Then the rest, I can use freezer bags just to freeze them further, you know, because maybe tomorrow I don't want to eat the cabbage. So the remaining cabbage, I will just put it in the freezer bag and then freeze it in the, in the freezer. See, there's no moisture, really good. So these are the freezer bags you can use, very handy. So you can just open your freezer bag, see, very, very handy. Then you pack your, pack your cabbage into the freezer bag so that you can use them on a, during your next meal. So this is the best way and it's very handy because sometimes we don't have time to do these things. But when you have time, you, you know, you can prepare your vegetables, just a few packets, and then place them in the freezer. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this tip of how we can preserve our leafy, leafy vegetables or our cabbage for the next usage. So please continue to, sub, to, to follow my videos, subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks, everybody, for watching this uh, uh, wonderful video. Thanks, everybody.